Hi everyone and welcome to the demonstration video for the Density and Measurement Lab. From your lab kit you will need your digital scale. I have mine out already. You will also need the 10 milliliter, which is very small, um, graduated cylinder. And you will need the metal nails, which are in this little cosmetic jar here. All right, there's one large one and six small ones. You will also need some water. I have some in a squeeze tube. You can just get one, some in a cup. Um, and you may or may not want your little dropper. So in this lab, we have these nails. We have one large nail, oh, it's a little stuck. And then there's these six smaller nails. They're made out of two different types of metal, and we're going to try to identify those metals by measuring their density. Um, density, of course, is mass over volume, so you're going to need to take the mass of the nails, and you're also going to measure the volume of the nails. Now, they're an irregular shape, so we're going to measure volume by something called water displacement. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is use your scale. Um, it should have batteries in it, but the batteries might be dead. They take AAA batteries. There's also a charging cord, a USB charging cord that you can use and plug it in and charge it that way. So of course, make sure it's working. You'll hit the power button to turn it on. It says hello. And you wanna make sure it's on a nice, flat, hard surface, not on a couch, not in your hand, all right, in order for it to work properly. Um, give it a minute and it'll read 0.000. .000. And um, make sure that you open the lid in order to use it. So I've had students who tried putting things on the lid and it wasn't working. Um, so the first thing you'll do is you'll get a mass reading. So you'll, you'll put your nail on there and you'll record the exact mass that you see on here. It should be reporting in grams. If for some reason it's not, please uh, hit the M button to change the unit until it reads grams, and grams is the one all the way at the end on the far right. If it's not reading zero, um, if you turn it on and it's like not reading zero, hit the T button, T is for tear, and that will return it to zero. You will also need to use, um, okay, so that's, that, that's taking the mass, so you'll get the mass. Um, density is mass over volume, so now you need to get the volume. So what you're gonna do is you're going to Put exactly, the, the protocol says exactly five milliliters of water in here. And so when we're reading our graduated cylinder, we really need to get down to eye level. We need it to be on a flat surface and we need to be reading it at eye level. We wanna make sure that the meniscus, the bottom of that little curve is where we're reading it at. Now, there's not much of a meniscus in here. So, I went a little overboard, so I'm going to use my dropper here to suck some of it off so that I have exactly five milliliters. Um, and I would record this actually as 5.0 milliliters. Um, these tick marks on here are actually every um, one, two, every two, 0.2 milliliters. So make sure that you don't count them as 0.1 milliliters. Each tick mark is 0.2 milliliters. Then you will measure the volume by measuring the volume displacement. So you'll put your nail in, and we don't wanna drop it in and plop and have the water splash everywhere. So I say to tilt your cylinder about 45 degrees and then slide the nail down the side so that you get minimal ploppage. I did get a little bit of a plop and a little bit of an air bubble which actually is, um, I don't know if you can see my air bubble. No, there, maybe a little bit. See that? There's the air bubble there. Okay, that's going to mess with my reading. So I do need to kind of tap this, make sure I get a nice meniscus. If there was any splatter, try to tap it till all the water comes down. We want to account for all of the water volume. And then make sure it's on a flat surface that you are at eye level and you will read the new volume to one place past the decimal point. So if it looks like 0.4, I'm going to tell you what it is, um, you would record it as point, oh no, sorry, record it one place past that. So 0.45 um, or 0.40 or 0.42. So you want to have two significant figures in that measurement. When you're done, you'll dump this out and you'll do the same with the six small nails. 
the six small nails we're counting sort of all as one unit. So you will measure, you'll take the mass of all the six small nails together, and you will also record the volume of them all together. You'll take this nail out, refill it with water, and put all six nails in there, and record the change in volume that you see. That is, in essence, the volume of our nails. And then you'll use those calculations, um, the mass and the volume, you'll use those to calculate density. And you'll compare the density that you calculate to the densities of the known densities of different metals on page one of the lab. And you'll try to identify, based on the density, what type of metal each of these nails is made out of. And you'll also um, calculate your percent error. This is not the most precise and accurate of labs, so it is expected that you have some error. You are not going to be deducted for having high percent error. Um, but that is the first lab.